Happy Wednesday, everyone. Today is a tutorial on this easy textured knit dishcloth or washcloth. You can also use it. I am using this yarn from Lion Brand. It's 24-7 cotton. It's 100% mercerized cotton. And um, it's a number four medium weight. One skein is 186 yards or 100 grams. And the color for this is golden rod. I am using a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle. And these are the supplies or the materials that you will need to make this project. Um, the stitch markers, of course, are optional. But it will definitely help you uh, remember which stitch to make every row. So, again, I am using a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle. My final project was 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches uh, width and height. So we will cast on 42 stitches and we will be using the long tail cast method. The multiple stitch for this neat dishcloth is 6 plus 12. So I did 42 stitches and how I measure my yarn for the long, long tail cast on is I use my arm like from, from the hand, the, the tip of the hands to my arm, or to, to my armpit that will be like at least 20 to 22 stitches. So double that number up and then uh, half of your forearm and you will get the, the right amount of stitches. So cast on 42 and make sure at the end of the row, at the end of your cast on tail, your stitches are facing up. And they are all facing one direction. So for the first stitch of uh, the initial row after the cast on, I will use uh, the two the two yarns, meaning the the working yarn and the the cast on yarn, and then you will be knitting the first row from start to finish. So forty two knit stitches at the end of the first row.
So after you cast on the 42 stitches, the first row is a knit stitch from the first stitch to the last stitch. And we will be initially doing the border for this dishcloth, which is uh, the, on the two sides, the right and the left, and the bottom and the top of uh, this washcloth or dishcloth. So we will be doing knit stitches to each and every row. And we have to do nine rows. So initially, nine rows for the border of our dishcloth. So this is what I am doing here. Just knitting back and forth into each and every stitch of the row. So 42 stitches in all. You will just go back and forth until you complete the nine rows for the the border of um, the dishcloth after i did the ninth row of my knitting rows knitting stitches i put a stitch marker in the front of my project to remind me that every add row will require me to knit the row all the way so that is why i put that stitch marker on that side So I'm doing row 2 now, which is our even rows. So to begin, you need to knit 5 stitches. That will be our border. And in every row, before you start and end the row, you will put 5 knit stitches. And then put your marker, which really helps it is optional but it will help so after the five knit stitches you will do purl into each and every stitch until you have five remaining stitches at the end of your row and that will be your knit stitches the five knit stitches for the border on your left or right side to the end of row two and i have five remaining stitches so i put back another stitch marker and knit into each and every last five remaining stitches and that is the end of your row two
row four, we start with five knit stitches and then you put back your marker and then purl two, knit four, purl two, knit four. That is the repeat on this round until you reach the five last remaining stitches which again will require you to knit to keep your border straight so again and again i would say that uh, using the marker the stitch marker will definitely help you keep track of uh, what stitch you do next This is the completed row 4 of our body. So we are on to row number 5. And it is an odd number or an odd row. So that means we will be knitting into each and every stitch from the start to the finish line of this row 5. So also... It helps me with the stitch marker that I put in front of my project to let me know that I am on the row that I need to knit on me. So again, stitch markers are optional, but it will help you. So row number six, it's the same as row number four, which is knit five stitches in the beginning and then purl two, knit four, purl two, knit four. Do that all the way until you reach the last five stitches on that row. So hence, you need to knit the five remaining stitches.
So this is how our project is looking at right now. So row number is seven. It's an odd number, yes. And you are on the side where you, you put your stitch marker. So therefore you will need into each and every stitch on that row. So 42 knit stitches you will do on every odd numbered row. So this is what I'm doing right here and we'll meet up again. So even number pattern is the same as in row 2 which is need 5 and then purl up to the last 5 stitches in your row. So again row number 8 it's the same as what you did in row number 2. We will be knitting from one end to the next end or from one stitch to the last stitch. So every odd numbered row we always will knit. So this is how it looks like after we did the ninth row and I am ready to start row number 10 which is knit 5 and then knit 3 and the pattern calls for purl 2 knit 4 up until you reach four stitches on that round so this row 10 is a little different from the rows that we had been doing because you will start with five knit stitches that is for the border but we will be doing three additional knit stitches so from the start you will be having eight knit stitches and then you will start the pattern of purl 2, knit 4, 
Peril 2, Need 4, and then you will do knit stitches at the end of the row. So this is how my project looks like right now after I did the 12 rows. This is now the, the wrong side where we needed the stitches. And the right side is um, where we did a different um, stitch other than knitting. So to complete the pattern you will have to do 12 rows so you will appreciate the ridges like almost like a basket weave for this uh, project so again you have to do rows 1 to 12 to come up with uh, like one one block of your pattern and then to increase the the height of your dish cloth or your um, wash cloth I did another four rows of rows 1 to 12 so I did four more uh, cycles you would say of uh, rows from number 1 to row number 12 so you will come up with the height and or the length of your project so this is how it looks like right now it depends on if you want to do a project that is longer or if your project is either a baby's blanket or some kind of uh, other projects other than the dishcloth or uh, the washcloth that I am doing right here.
So again, repeating rows 1 to 12 is to complete each block for your pattern. So if you want your projects to be longer or wider, just increase the number of stitches. But you always have to remember that to be able to get the full, the full pattern or the full block, you need to do from rows 1 to 12 to complete it. And then on your 13th row, you will start with row 1 again. So it requires you to do or to knit from rows 1 to row 12. So it's a repetitive uh, kind of project, but still it's kind of long because you have to finish up 12 rows, but the outcome is superb. You need to give it a try. So now I'm just repeating rows 1 to row 12 for each and every block that I want to do and to increase the height of my project. So just go back and forth doing round or row 1 to row 12 so you will have a um, the appropriate size for your washcloth or for your uh, dishcloth so again if you want to um, to do how I did my project I did uh, four repeats of uh, rows 1 to 12 and then for the border as I told you um, do nine rows of knit stitches at the end of your uh, at the end of your project so again nine rows from the bottom to the top of your uh, edges or your border nine rows of knitting stitches
so I'm trying to show you here I'm on the sixth row now of uh, I think this is like the middle of my of my project so just go back and forth remember to complete rows 1 to 12 so you will get the the complete pattern and then depending on you on how you want your project to to measure height wise or tall wise so mine came out um, with a measurement of 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches so I am satisfied with uh, the number of stitches that I got and I highly recommend that you do and try try on this project how uh, the stitches are are done and how we mix from one row to the next to be able to come up with the pattern it's an easy one just make sure that you use your stitch markers and a counter but they are of course optional so just go back and forth and remember every odd numbered row you have to knit and every even numbered row you have to uh, follow the pattern that the written pattern that I uh, flashed in this uh, tutorial. So as a reminder, um, the bottom edge and the top edge, I used nine rows of knitting stitches. And the reason why we did the borders is so that our project will not curl up or will not curl into the inside or into itself so using the knitting or the garter stitch border will help keep our projects uh, un unfolded or to help keep our edges straight so that is why I did the nine rows of knitting stitches at the start of my project and at the end of my project
I'm almost done with my uh, project. I'm on to row number 12. The texture for this project is really nice. You should give it a try. Or even you can make this as a baby blanket or like a throw for your, uh, for your couch. The outcome is really um, kind of thick, depending maybe on the yarn that you will use. So this is how I'm doing before we cast off or bind off our project. So just keep building up your, your washcloth or your dishcloth. Keep building up. It depends on how much of a height you want your project to have. So we are binding off at this time. It's a pattern 
um, put two stitches on your um, right needle and then um, bind off with from the second uh, stitch passing through the first stitch so just go slow while you are binding off it's kind of hard so I will do it off camera and here I am back with the remaining five stitches on that row and we will be done with our project.